Accusation and welcome the first guest on the show. Saturn Credit Care sees a mixed quarter as cost of funds weigh on performance. H.P. Singh, who is the chairman and managing director of the company, is joining us now to discuss the quarter gone by and most importantly, what the outlook is going ahead. Mr. Singh, good, uh, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, well, can you give us a sense on what your outlook is on dispersal growth, the customer growth and AUM growth going ahead? So I think we've given a guidance earlier of 25% growth for this year. And I think you know, the first quarter is on track for that. Uh, we've actually done uh, a positive uh, you know, growth of about uh, five odd percent in the first quarter. And the first quarter is technically a very weak quarter for uh, MFIs because the first quarter normally has lesser dispersals going on. So if the first quarter is about 5%, you know, I think we are on uh, on 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 our road to a 25% uh, guidance which we had given, we are on road for that. You know, so that is where I think the dispersals are probably going on. You know, and uh, similarly on the collection front, I think you know our GNP is down from 3.3% uh, down to about 2 2.5%. So that is also probably a very positive sign uh, for the for the future and the coming quarters as, as well. You know, right. Um... Mr. Singh, could you tell us, you know, about TSL? That book de declined sharply quarter on quarter and year on year. What's the outlook on the same here? So TSL has got merged with uh, Saturn FinServe Limited. Now Saturn FinServe Limited is primarily our MSME arm. It lends for MSME. And TSL was our business correspondent arm. We were actually making portfolio for our, uh, for our banks and other financial institutions. Now what uh, we are taking in the future is that we are concentrating on the MSME book. Uh, rather than the PC book, you know, that is the reason why we are taking it and we are running down the book or it's going to be stable across over there. But the main momentum is going to be on the MSME part, you know, so that is how we want to look at uh, SFL now once uh, Tarashna has got merged with it. Okay. You know, your cost of funds have weighed on the net interest margin, as I said earlier. Can you give us a sense of what the cost of funds are, how are they expected to pan out and an outlook on net interest margins as well? So I think you know if you look at NIMS uh, in uh, in totality as such, you know, so last year the NIM was slightly better basically because of a revaluation of our subsidies which had done. Now once you take away that, you know, we have probably been on a positive from our NIMS front, you know. So for the whole year of FY23, our NIMS were close to about 11.6 percent. This year, this quarter, our NIMS have been 12.1 percent, you know. So it's been an uptake of about 0.5 percent, you know, in terms of our NIMS, you know. And as we go forward, you know, I think the future holds that we are going to be at least in the range of about 13% names, you know, which are going to be there. So that's, that's again, a positive. So the cost of funds have been, uh, uh, whatever it has been, you know, whatever hikes have been, we've actually taken it to our stride. And the names are improving now from there on. All right, Mr. Singh, uh, thank you so much for joining in with all those details. Wish you good luck for the remainder of this year as well, as you've pointed out that you are well on track to receive or uh, achieve all the guidance that you've given us. Uh, you know, I'll just keep an eye on a couple of stocks on the broader markets. We do have a bunch.